Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another Easy Plant Spot Guide. This is going to be... I couldn't even think of really a title for this video. It's just so much stuff compiled into one. But basically, if you play game battles or public match S&D or S&R, this is the video for you. Let me just say that right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you some crazy plant spots and uh, some crazy spots to be on the map. So if that, I guarantee you, you'll find something new you did not know about. So we're going to start off offense. I started off last video on defense, but I feel like getting the plant spots done is going to be um, just a m much uh, more exciting way to kick off the video. Since this is the primary reason you're probably going to be watching this. Alright, so one way to break out from the spawn, you're going to be running out right here and breaking glass. One person uh, traditionally will sit back scaffolding and watch over the middle of the, middle of the map. This is an easy spot to watch the middle of the map off of. Uh, let's see what else we got here. We got people. We got, if you want to break out this way, you can also have people head glitching on here. And one really good spot if you're going to be pushing up to A, I would suggest you jump right up here and just watch front green. This is a perfect spot to be because you have this thing guarding the traditional flank. So you will be seen, but some people will definitely miss you. I've had lots of people that run in from that side and actually don't see me because this thing's blocking me for the most part. And you're just going to be sitting up here and waiting for people to walk in. They walk in, you get an easy kill. Simple as that. So we're going to, go, going to be going over the A plant first. And really, you can. there's lots of spots for this bomb. Uh, B bomb is definitely the better way to go, but you can, you're can. you not going to want to be going to the same bomb every single time. So one spot you're going to be planting pretty much anywhere on this side. You know, anywhere over here. Just plant the bomb. And pretty much you're just going to be running over the B bomb. And you can sit really anywhere on this map. This is a beautiful spot right here, if you're going to be watching it. Uh, you can watch all over that. Well, pretty much what you're going to be doing, if you have a partner or more, you're going to be uh, just pretty much watching this area, see if they push you from there, and you're going to have your partner 3 ping you over there. Or if it's a 1v1, you could be just watching that and then switching on and off, whatever you prefer. You could also switch corners um, depending on what you feel like doing. But this is going to be one plant spot. Another one that's actually really, really effective, a lot of people do not know about, is going to be if you climb right on these crates here. And you're going to be jumping up here, and then jumping up here. And if you plant it anywhere on that side, you can see it from over here. So you can simply press up against this wall, just watch your back, you know, cover your spots. And then just poke your head out. And uh, obviously, if this thing is not in the way, you'll easily see the bomb. But So you can, that's one strategy. Another thing, that you can climb up on the scaffold thing here. And you can peek your head out like that, you know, if you don't want to jump with the crates. And I'm sure you could even jump on it here. But there's some other strategy of... Um, jumping up on those lights that I'm not going to even go over right now. Anyway, um, you could also sit back here. This is actually a really effective spot. I had one guy sit here on me. He just crouched right next to this thing, and this is actually really smart because you get, um, you know, you can catch people picking off that way, and just you move two feet, and you can see if they're fusing. It's simple as that. This is a really good spot as well. But I want to say my favorite spot on this map is I wouldn't suggest laying back here because you're going to see what happens. This thing gets in your way, you're kind of fucked, you know, it's really annoying, and you know, now I'm stuck in the thing. You know, this thing can get really annoying at times. Trust me. But anyway, like, look at that. Anyway, all right. So uh, instead of laying on here, you could lay on here and kind of see both uh, entrances and whatnot. I would honestly suggest you lay here. Um, this was I, I realized this is actually not that long ago, and you can actually guard this spot while your whole this whole lift right here is pretty much guarding your right side. So they will, you know, if you back up a bit. You can see that whole side, and you'll see if they run down here, and you'll probably get an easy get pick. And if you have a partner, you can have them three ping over there as well. Um, last spot I want to go over. This one I wouldn't suggest too much, but you could definitely uh, do it as well. Uh, you're pretty much just sitting here. People will not see you from over there at all. They will not see your gun sticking out as long as you're behind this pole. And pretty much you're just sitting here watching this, and you can see the whole cross there. So if, if you know they're not on that side yet, you can sit here and watch this, and they'll see if you, they run over that side, and you won't get shot from there at all, as long as you have this whole spot covered. But actually, one spot I forgot about that I'm going to go over is, if you lay prone by any of these blue things, you can have somebody 3P you. And I haven't tested this yet, but I'm, through, I'm not sure. You might be able to actually sound for A from here, if you lay prone right there. But another spot to lay prone is right here. Um, you can definitely sound for A from here, if you're laying prone. But do be where you could get flanked. This is why I, this is more of a three P spot than oh, just a one v one spot. Um, you know, same thing goes for this. Actually, you'd probably be better off laying this way. But you're gonna be prone blocks. So you gotta be aware of that. But have people three P your back. But you know, any any of these slots, even all the way to the back spot, you could. Uh, a lot of people like rotating all the way back here and jumping up on this little desk and pretty much just you can see anybody crossing over from there. The only spot they 
you gotta be aware that the fuse, so you might want to be cooking a bomb with some, you might want to be cooking your nade at the bomb. Alright, so now we're gonna be going over B. So, pretty much, this is my favorite bomb. I have some amazing spots, and I'm gonna show you one spot right off the bat. All you gotta do is plant the bomb anywhere on this side, pretty much. Just plant anywhere over here, and you'll be good. And all you do is simply, it, it's very simple. You get the plant off, you plant the bomb, you turn around, you run back here, you lay prone. Right here. I have li I've done this a lot. I've done this in uh, teams. I've done this in 1v1s. And I'm going to tell you this right now. I have literally never died in this spot before. I have never died here at all. And I've never lost a round when I successfully get over here and lay prone. Not a single time. And I've played a lot of GBs. So I just want to let you guys know that. I've never died. Because who's going to look there? Honestly. like they're gonna, You're going to hear them anywhere around you. They can't see you through here. Unless they're looking there. Which uh, nobody does. They're not going to be looking back there at all. They're just going to be focused on this because this is what people traditionally hide. They're going to be trying to clear this out. And then the minute they pick up that bomb and defuse it, you'll hear it. And you just got to get up. So the only time you're going to die doing this method is if you say you die while planting or you die while running back here. But, you know, you're pretty much good to go because the only spot you'd actually be seen from is back here somewhere. And when uh, you're trying to break the spot, nobody ever checks the back scaffold things. So this is the perfect spot to plant. Another spot... It's very similar to that. Stop listening. Xbox, stop listening. There we go. Alright, so another uh, good spot to plant is right here. And pretty much what you're going to be doing is a similar strategy. If you're in, um, if you're playing dubs or more, you can simply lay prone here. Be careful because if you're too close to the wall like this, your arm will actually be sticking through the, through the side. So make sure you're, you're like positioning yourself correctly. And you know your teammate will guide you saying, alright, move over a bit more and whatnot. And you just literally lay prone here and your teammate can uh, 3P into the room to see if they're defusing or not. And if you don't decide to do that, you can plant it really... It depends where you plant the bomb, but if you plant on the same side I just uh, demonstrated, you can jump up on here and if you have tracker sight, you can see if they're defusing the bomb or not. Or You don't even need tracker sight to see them. But uh, you know, even if you plant in the far corner on the other side, where I showed for the last spot, you can see if they're defusing from here. Um, it's a bit harder to see, but this is why I would suggest you do a tracker site if you're going to be doing something like that. So there's one other spot. Another amazing 3P spot is actually uh, proning out right here. And people can uh, 3P the bomb if you plant it you know, somewhere on that side. You lay prone here, or you know, even lay prone over here. I'm not sure how well some of these other spots work, but this is the one I know of right here. Laying prone there. Um, this spot may work as well. I'm pretty sure you'd be, yeah, you'd be able to hear the bomb from here. So this works the same as the other side. I wouldn't suggest it as as much though, unless you've already used up the other spot and you're trying to mix it up a bit. You could try laying prone here because, but if they are running out here, they are going to see you as they walk by, and you're really not going to be able to defend yourself. Um, some some of the plant spots a lot of people like using is actually planting the bomb wherever it may be and laying prone in the back corner right here. And you're going to want to make sure you're not prone blocked or anything, but you can cover this door and anybody who pushes through that side. At the same time, while not being seen from over there, people cannot see you unless you you're up too far. Um, so yeah, that's one good spot for that. You know, you can do the same thing on the other side. Um, probably not as well, but you can do the same thing and watch that doorway, and even have people three p your other one. But the uh, the final spot I'm going to be going over. This is a very uh, not final spot, but this is a very effective spot right here. Is that you literally just sit on the very very edge of this, and people cannot see your gun sticking through from there. And it's a very good 3P spot if you're going to just be walking, watching this side and you can have something 3P your back so you don't get flanked. But even on 1v1, you see people doing this from time to time. And, you know, you can hear the bomb at, at all times and they're not going to really be expecting you're, like, you're out here on the edge. It's a pretty effective method. Um, some method other people did I really just... I'm not even going to go on. <laughs> Alright, I just filled that jump. But anyway, you know, a lot of people also sometimes do stuff like that and, you know, jump out to here. And, uh, you know, if this thing's, I, I don't know if you can get over there without the, um, the little tank going by. I don't think you can, so I'm just going to try landing this stuff. I might fail, though. You know, I'm not, sh yeah, this, I'm not going to land this, so I'm probably, I might die right now. Yeah, alright, so anyway, back into this. It's an interesting little animation for me falling, but... <laughs> Okay, so, you know, you can try stuff like that. You know, maybe experiment around a bit more, and maybe you'll find a uh, pretty cool spot um, over there. Um, some other spots, you can be camping in the corners here, you know, watching this. You'll be able to hear the bomb at all times from any spot. You know, same thing goes for this side. You'll be hearing the bomb on any side for any spot. 
Um, another spot you could do is actually in this corner. Don't see a lot of this though. You don't you don't see a lot of camping in either of these corners, but it, it, you it, you can, it can be done. But one of my personal favorites I recently discovered is simply going to be right here. This is such a good 1v1 spot. This is the 1v1 spot, <laughs> to be completely honest with you. It's just actually sitting right here. You can hear bomb at all times, while at the same time watching this whole cross, watching VDOM, and you can't be seen from behind. Another great 3 feet spot right here. You can also be 3 feet from here, but I wouldn't suggest you push up. Um, another spot, if you plant... Uh, just crouch right here. You can watch your yellow stairs, or you can watch this cross. Or you can, I would suggest you don't even ADS anywhere. You just kind of like, just sit here and you're ready for anything if they pop up. And at the same time, you can hear the bomb from anywhere in there. Um, there's also a ladder room where you can camp out, and you can see anybody that pushes out. Uh, you can't hear the bomb exactly, but so you might need to push out and check the bomb real quick and go back. Uh, you can also jump on spots. Uh, not that spot. My bad. You can. What am I doing? You can jump on the lockers right over here and sit in this corner. You know, you have, you're gonna have to have you know a few spots to cover, but you know you can effectively cover these spots at the same time hearing the bomb. Um, and also one more thing I want to say is the proning spot over there works just as good on that side of scaffolding. So that's gonna be all the uh, spots I have for you guys today on offense. Now I'm gonna be showing you some amazing defense rushes as well as um amazing uh, spots to cover. So stay tuned for that. All right, so now we're on defense here, um, and yeah, all right. So one great spot to cover is gonna just gonna be rushing out here to crates, and you're gonna be watching green. This thing's about to collapse on me, but pretty much you can see green from all over here. And if anybody pushes out to A, you can see them from here. Um, not sure if you can check it. From, I wouldn't really check it from scaffolding, but you can see it from here. And I can almost guarantee they will not see you from this spot unless they're checking it. Um, another spot you can do. Uh, I discovered this since like day one of GBs. This is like my favorite spot to sit. Um, it's actually right next to this yellow pole. Make sure you're not here. You want to be behind the yellow pole. Got to make sure of that. Otherwise, your gun will be sticking out. And you can pretty much cover the whole cross, as I said earlier. You know, covering on the ground, whole cross, so you'll know they're not in your spawn anywhere. At the same time, you can hear the a bomb at all times. Um, let's see, if you're going to be breaking, you can also head glitch on this desk here. Not, this used to be a good spot, a lot of people use, but it's really not commonly used at all anymore because people will just, can push you from anywhere, you know, so I wouldn't really suggest that. You can also just sit on caution and see if anybody's over there. Um, alright, some other rushes, one when when I've been using a lot lately, when I've been using my Remington with Tracker, sitting right here and literally sitting in this position right here, just sitting here. And I can see anybody that comes from blue room. I can see anybody that goes into bomb room. And I can see the whole mid cross here. But you have to be aware they can crawl up to the bomb and plant. So I always jump up ADS real I jump up on this thing. ADS real quick with my tracker site. And then just get back down. Simple as that. One thing you do you need to be aware of is this barrel right here. Let me back up. You, people shoot that barrel. Boom. It explodes and you will be annihilated. So you got to be careful of that. And a lot of people, when they see you back here, you're going to want to move because that's what they're going to be going through. They're going to be chucking a nade at you over here. So you're going to want to jump. I would definitely suggest you jump down or something and, you know, push up and getting a spot like this or, you know, wherever the hell you want to go. And just pretty much just wait out real quick until you reposition yourself. Um, another, one of my, probably my favorite, uh, my favorite spot on defense on this map now that I found out that uh, you just simply go right here on this thing. And you can watch this whole cross. And one thing I realized after doing this a few times is that you can not only sound whore B, but you can sound whore when they're over at A. At first, I wasn't sure if it was their footsteps or not, but believe it or not, I heard something over here. I ran over here, and every single time I heard that noise, they were over at A. So you can hear the footsteps uh, scattering through here. I believe you can hear them scattering through green, too. All the way from over here. It's such an insane spot. While at the same time, you can hear um, all of B bomb and see that whole cross there and at the same time you cannot be seen from over here um, some other good spots and if you're running from underground uh, yeah, you can be running from underground all the way up down to this flank here and pretty much you're just going to be running up the staircase or you can go the other way and pretty much just jumping through here and just getting on their back scaffolding catches them off guard um, you know with the whole planning and you know 
they if they could be strolling through any of these rooms, uh, B Dom, Underground, maybe even back A, and you can pretty much catch them from anywhere over here. So I believe I covered all the spots pretty much I uh, that are used. You know, obviously B Dom can be used as well. B Dom's a very good control spot to cover, you know, on defense. So I would suggest that. Well, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Lots of great spots. More videos to come. I still got a lot more maps to do in competitive. I got Strike Zone. I got Warhawk. Um, what else do we have? Um, Octane. You know, all those good maps um, to do left. So make sure to stay tuned and subscribe for more. We got lots more videos coming out. Videos every day. I uh, want to do videos every single day. So stay tuned for that. Hope you guys enjoy. Stay tuned all the way to the end. Feel free to like the video. And peace out, guys.